Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and I wanted to talk to you about one simple little thing that will help you with your business, your sales, and your marketing. So simple that you may have never even thought about it before. And that is your business card. Everybody has business cards. Over the years, I've collected thousands and thousands of business cards from salespeople, business owners, entrepreneurs, etc. And what I find is they are boring. What I find is they are horrible. Every time you give something, every time you connect with a customer, it's an MOT, a moment of truth. It either advances you or takes and detracts from you. And if you give somebody a boring business card and you do not ask them to take action, educate them, motivate them, and treat it as a selling marketing piece, then you're losing that opportunity. Most of the time when I get a card, I'll look at that card and I'll just think, wow, it's just so boring. There's nothing to it. There's no call to action. There's nothing to educate me. It doesn't make me go, wow, I got to call them back. First of all, be different and unique. Have what you call an SDP, Specific Defining Proposition. What makes you different or unique where somebody wants to do business with you? On my card, I use a caricature. If you don't want to use a caricature, then use a picture. It identifies and attracts people to you you are the reason. You're the reason for the season for this when it comes to sales and marketing and business. What I mean by that is people do business with people. They don't buy a facility. They don't buy a website, so to speak, but they do business with you. So if I can connect them to me by having a caricature or a picture, that is great. You can use a different type of card. In other words, it could be a business coin instead of a business card. It could have your caricature or your picture, your outline on that coin. You could have an oversized million dollar bill with your picture in the middle, your contact information on the back. There are so many different ways that you could do this. I've seen cards that were very, very small. And on the back of the card it said, if we had done business, I could have afforded better business cards. The idea is, does it make somebody stop and look at it? And I can't believe in this day and age that when I get a business card, I often do not see an email address. I do not see a website. I have multiple websites on mine. Why? There are different things that I want you to go to. Some of them will be a niche site that has specific information, and the others will be a more general portal website and informational website. Now, what I rarely see is the back of the business card being used. In marketing, you always want to use all of your white space, whether it's an ad, whether it is a letter, or whether it's a business card. Make sure you use the space. On the back of this card right here, I drive you to a website where it says you can get a free newsletter. That's going to educate you. It doesn't cost you anything, and it positions me as an expert. I also have another place where you can go to collect something else for free, and it gives my statement my elevator pitch, my quick definition of what makes me different and unique. So the first thing you got to do, boom, attract their attention. They want to look at it. Number two, make your contact information and what differentiates you through your picture, etc. a little different and unique than anybody else. And then make sure you use all the real estate and make sure you give them all the ways that they can contact you today that put you in today's market. That's how you better use a business card. For more information, go to my website and get my free newsletter at either marktuart.com or tuart.com. Thanks a lot and good selling.